According to the technique described by Tavian Collis, an oblique aortotomy is performed and the aortic valve is excised. The aortotomy is enlarged through the non coronary aortic sinus and aortic annulus until reaching the intervalvular fibrous body. The dome of the left atrium is open generously towards the right pulmonary artery. The mitral bud and the deceased intervalvular fibrous body are radically excised. The extensiveness of the recession and reconstruction in cases of endocarditis depends on the degree to which the neighboring tissues are involved by the infectious process. In patients who underwent elective aortic and mitral valve replacement to treat patient prosthesis mismatch, the intervalvular fibrous body was simply divided. Ventricular pleated matrix sutures of Tycon 2O are passed to the posterior mitral annulus from the lateral to the medial fibrous trigon. All the stitches are passed to the sewing ring of the mitral prosthesis that is lower into position and tied. We cut the sutures remaining only the strings like a reference. It's important to avoid the use of excessively large prosthetic mitral valve because it fills the left ventricle and does not leave a space for the prosthetic aortic valve. A pericardial patch is used to reconstruct the intertrigonal mitral aortic junction. The patch is secured laterally to the lateral and middle fibrous trigons with a continuous trial polypropylene suture. We must fix the patch as close as possible to the large mitral sutures for avoiding a paravalvular leak. The central part is secured to the mitral prosthesis with plated stitches. The left atriotomy is closed with the other half of the patch using one of the continuous trio polypropylene sutures. After we have closed the dome of the left atrium, we proceed to suture the inner patch to the margins of the aortic wall, thus forming the new suaortic curtain on the posterior segment of the left ventricular outflow tract. We must size the aortic prosthesis, taking a reference the location of the trigons. The aortic valve should be implanted approximately one centimeter upper of the mitral valve to avoid a large pass between the prosthesis. 
the prosthesis aorti valve is secured to the aorti annulus and to the pericardial patch. During the aorti valve replacement, the stitches in the pericardial patch can be passed from the aorti surgery ring to the other side of the pericardial patch. The remaining inner hull pass is used to close the right side of the autotomy. Finally, we may winning of cardiopulmonary bypass, control of bleeding, and closure. Thank you.